along the eastern shore of Lake Ontario. Certain bird species often congregate as they work their way northward during migration in spring and early summer. Rice Creek Biological Field Station, a research and nature observation site operated by the nearby State University of New York College at Oswego, is an excellent location for temporarily capturing, inspecting, and banding migrating birds. The field station is no more than a mile from Lake Ontario's eastern shore, a major bird migration route. Master bird bander Jim Kiefer sets up special nets along a trail near the Rice Creek where it flows toward Lake Ontario. These are called mist nets. And most of the mist nets are made in Japan. Uh, some are made of nylon, some are made of polyester. But if you look closely, you really do have to look closely, you can actually see the mesh. If I let me walk behind it, and it should show up on my shirt a little bit better. But if you have any kind of motion, it sort of disappears. So if a bird's flying in, it hits the net, it simply falls down. These nets, typically seven to eight feet high and approximately 30 feet long, are made of very fine material that does no harm to the birds when they fly into them. Now Mike, I'm gonna simply back this out the way it went in. I usually go for the feet first. Jim frees each one carefully a skill that requires patience and expertise. You know, the, the, Sandy, the tongue is caught on this. Oh, the tongue? Yeah, they have bones in their tongue. And you often catch them in netting. So I was able to get a fork out. It's sort of like a fork that goes back. And sometimes the netting gets ripped out. So did you have to cut it off? No, I was able to pull it back in. There's actually four bones. When a bird does occasionally become inextricably entwined, the net is cut to free the bird unharmed. The bird always comes first. Once a bird is freed from the mist net, it is placed in a small bag for transport to a banding station. The bag does not harm the bird. Two, three, zero, one. At the banding station, the bander inspects the bird, measures its wing, places a small aluminum band with a unique nine-digit identification number on one leg, then weighs it on a special scale. The paper tube protects and calms the bird while it is being weighed. 41 .0. After the bird is weighed and all data is recorded, it is released back into the wild. The whole process, from capture to release, rarely takes more than half an hour. And that's a what? <laughs> just on the side. It's a warbler. Just inside the warbler. Well, someone, how about this though? The bird band contains information about how to report the bird identification number to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. This information helps scientists better understand bird behavior and bird migration patterns. Last two numbers should be 12, 1, 2. It's a male. Oh, yeah. You can see the collect is fairly large. When I'm not teaching, I'm not teaching. in the summer I get to be voracious. Not beautiful. Oh, I'm going to let it go. It's beautiful. Oh. Well, I'm just going to go to the Yeah. <laughs> Nature trails and facilities at Rice Creek Biological Field Station at the State University of New York at Oswego are open to the public. For hours of operation, trail maps, and other information, see this link.